Welcome to Share the Word, a daily devotional from our study of the Word of God. So if you enjoy our Bible studies, please click the share button. Today we want to look at what the Bible says about freedom. David prayed in Psalm 51, 12, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. David knew something about the Spirit of God. He used the adjective free to describe the Spirit of God. Back in Psalm 18, David had described the Lord as riding on the wings of the wind. I've always liked that phrase in the Bible, the wings of the wind. It just sounds like a description of the Lord that seems so free and, and so flowing. So when David here was praying in Psalm 51 and asking the Lord to uphold him by thy free spirit, it was because David at this time was trapped in his own sin. David had written earlier in the Psalm, all the way back actually in Psalm 5, he said this, his own iniquities shall take the wicked himself and he shall be holden with the cords of his sin. So David knew a lot about being trapped in sin. And we find here the writer himself bound in the consequences of his own sin because David had committed a sin with Bathsheba and found himself entangled in his own cords of iniquity. But here in Psalm 51, David is pleading to God to forgive him, to restore him, to give him his previous joy, and finally to let the freedom that he once enjoyed with God return. There is, oh listen, there is great freedom in the Lord. Jesus said in John 8, 32, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. There's no freedom like the truth gives. There's no liberty. Listen to me carefully. There is no liberty when lies, corruption, and sin abound. So David's appeal here in Psalm 51 was for the Lord to reinstate his own liberty. The independence that he once had with God was stolen by Satan. Let me ask you something before we close. Where are you today? Has some sin worked its way into your life and has you bound with its addiction, something you can't break? Has some iniquity crept, crept into your life and the consequences of your action have removed your liberty? David knew where to turn to get his bonds loose. He turned to the Lord. Isn't that what Jesus did when he commanded after he raised Lazarus from the dead? He raised him from the dead and Lazarus came forth in his grave clothes and Jesus said, loose him and let him go. Yes, dear friend, the spirit of the Lord is a free spirit. If you meet someone today or if there's someone in your life who is manipulative, controlling, overbearing, listen to me carefully. I won't take this statement back. You've met someone who is more like the devil than anyone. That manipulative person, whether he be a preacher or a pastor, whether he be a husband or, or a boss, if they're so manipulative, so controlling, they're more like the devil than any dope head you'll ever meet. Amen, preacher. So God gave, listen, as I close, God gave man a choice all the way back in the Garden of, Garden of Eden. He set Adam at liberty to make an autonomous decision Adam was given a certain amount of self-rule by God. And any person who desires to take your ability of self-government away is satanically inspired. That's the reason the pilgrims came to the shores of America. They had been worshiping over in England and man had tried to rule their conscience and they risked their lives sailing to the shores of America so they could worship God in the freedom of their own conscience. Do you desire to be free from sin, from the vices of Satan? Let me tell you where to turn. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. He said in John 8, 36, If the Son shall therefore make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Hmm. Are you currently feeling a little restrained? A little constrained? 
a little restricted. Maybe life has you a little cramped up. <laughs> There's one who will set you at liberty, and his name is Jesus. Thank God. Let me say that again. His name is Jesus. And if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen. Click the share button and let's continue to spread the good word of God.